What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and squirrels of all types around in this world? Welcome back to Scorched Earth, and welcome to the second episode of today. Welcome back to episode 25? 4. 24. 24 of our ARC series. Uh, I apologize for not posting a video yesterday, um, because I, like I said, uh, maybe in the last episode... I've been exhausted. I have been traveling consistently for about two weeks now, and it has been a very, very tiring thing. So uh, today, guys, I actually have something for you that I've been working on um, for a little bit of time now. It's taken a long time to do this, but up here, I have began the breeding operations for our Manticore boss fighting T-Rexes. This is just the beginning of a very big project that I have. I plan on mutating a bunch of creatures, but let me show you guys stuff. So over here in this cryo fridge that I have built, I have the two T-Rexes that started this all off. This was the two 220s that we ended up getting. Well, the 220 and the 220 didn't have the same stats. So I ended up getting creatures that did have the same stats and in one egg, I got three triplet females and I have the perfect male right here. These are all the perfect creature with a very high health and a very high melee. The melee is uh, about 308. Yeah, so 308, 830 weight, 200 or 2,226 stamina and 10,000 health. The health is nothing to sneeze at. I have been told that and apparently it's really good but we also have our phoenix from last episode so if you didn't go and see that um you guys should do that i do plan on trying to hunt for another one in the next episode because i think i seen one spawn over there whenever i was flying by on this thing this thing goes fast as fuck too boy i have a thousand uh stamina on it because i've been over here killing uh some some baby dinos but yeah this is a. Uh, this is it. This is the breeding operation. Uh, I do plan on building this all up uh, ever so slightly because this was a very massive project that I've been working on um, for quite some time now. Uh, I've been trying to keep it out of videos as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, it is finally starting to come to fruition and I'm extremely excited about it. I'm very happy to see how this goes. Uh, this platform took me a long time to build and then imagine me trying to get all of that down there that was a long time and i ended up using the dragon for some of it i think i used uh who was it i think to finish it off i think i used the phoenix uh, from last episode because there was quite a bit that i couldn't get and i was stuck like right here for the longest time so now uh yeah this is this is here now this is now a thing this is going to be my taming thing. Uh, once we get some better, uh, what you call it, some better dragons, they're going to come over here. Once we get some, uh, I'm going to see if phoenixes can mate. I don't think they can since they don't have a gender, but I am more than willing to test that out. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to see, because I think I've seen a blue one somewhere. I think it was over in that direction. Yeah, I think it was over by blue ob, which is kind of ironic. It was... I never, I didn't get to see his level, but we do have the guy uh, over there that I want to go check out and get in the next episode. So it's going to push off a couple things for me, but I, I do have some other plans that I'm working on. We're, let's get this breeding operation started because this is going to be the primary focus on the video is getting some cool colors as well as uh, making sure we can get some. Oh, damn it making sure we can get some good uh, uh i should probably just do the no it's fine whatever i don't care give it a little bit of staggering so that they don't okay so you're breeding you're breeding and you're breeding nice um yeah so we got these guys going now and that is going to be uh the mo majority of what i work on for this video because th this took a long time for me to get uh i think i tamed a t-rex Oh my god a long time ago but it's been it's been a minute for sure uh let me show you guys how this thing does now 
I am just an oh yeah I forgot I have to hold that my bad it's gonna take me a few seconds to redo it here we go and boom we are flying look at that we are fast as fuck boy I think we're now the fastest mount in the game yeah we're definitely the fastest mount in the game now Woo! all right so yeah this thing is now done i also in my inventory have built a chemistry bench because i'm tired of that um i've also oh, i don't know if i showed this actually off but i do know that i was over here in the last episode i did end up building this out i do plan on making like a little stable because there's like this whole back fenced in area i do plan on building up this section too that'll probably be a video of itself uh, me getting all the pieces together and building it uh, on screen for the first time because my building processes are very slow but I have good ideas for all the rest of this stuff I still haven't gone out with the thyla yet but that's perfectly okay I still also want to get cave 3 done at some point so we'll probably do that as well um, let's see how is our hives doing not too shabby from the looks of it how is nitrogen doing we're doing good. We have about 148 of each thing. Oh God, that was the wrong thing. No, no, no. Uh, how is how is our poop collector? Holy, holy nitrogen. Oh my God. Okay. Um, let me take a drink real quick. Is this doing? Got plenty of stuff in here. We're good there. Um, yeah. So that's kind of the plan today was to get those going i also would like to maybe go find some other stuff which we can go do on the phoenix because i i love the phoenix this thing is awesome this thing is so sick i love it um the oasis sword has crumbled in upon itself again i'm not entirely sure why but uh let's see what kind of damage we do now die burn no you shall burn. Nice. And also with this thing, um, as we get the creature, uh, it cooks meat for us. So I've got quite a bit of stuff that I am using right now, and it's awesome. Um, hello, a bunch of baby paras paraceratheriums. What are you guys doing? You guys are all level 10. That is literally useless. Um, let's see here. I don't think there's anything specific that I want to do. Let's go see if we can find the uh, the Phoenix over by Blue Ob. Where is Blue Ob? Blue Ob's right there. So I want to go see if I can find this Phoenix because I've seen it once. But uh, that is going to be next episode. I'm not going to try to do that today. Um, let's see. Do I have? I have enough stamina. Let's just get going on our rocket Phoenix. Look at this. This thing is sick. Oh my god. This was such a good get. I can't wait to see if we can find a max level one. Like if this one's max level, that would be insane. That would be the most absolute arc luck that I could possibly have. Um, I also did see that there was a fire wyvern. A alpha fire wyvern. A couple of them. In the trench. That means in... Is it the next episode I planned on? No, the next episode's trying to see if we can get the Phoenix if the the one that's over here if it's here because I like the color blue on it and then we're gonna go do uh, some fun stuff with the Oasis or that I have planned so be prepared for that one so you guys are looking at like Friday for that so if you guys are wanting to see some crazy stuff happen with the uh, with the Oasis or come back to the channel on Friday that's gonna be when I really have a plan for it um Yes, please go ahead and attack my yeah, burn. And we walk away. There we go. Wait, how come those kills are counting, but not the other one? That's fine, I guess. Uh, saber. Ooh, it's a one, three, five saber. Um, do I have any stuff to tame a saber? I do not. I don't have any of my taming stuff. That's okay. 
Um, I'm not really looking to tame a whole lot today. I'm just going to really have that going on in the background. Uh, and hopefully we can get some good stuff from it. So, you know what? Let's just go over there and uh, deal with that. Rocket mode activate. Oh, that's so sick. I love it so much. Look at that. Oh my god. We're traveling at m multiple meters per second, like a couple hundred per second is kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. Plus, I really like this building that I have going on right here. Um, I might make a smaller one right here and come down with it and create like a small little section right there. And look, we, oh, we almost used up all of our stam. Oh no, please land, buddy. There we go. Anyway, we are now here. I just gotta let my dude. Uh, can you get me silica pearls yet? Um. Um. How do I? How do I? How do I poop? Is it? Was that me or it? Okay, I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't remember my button. Anyway, let's see. We got a few eggs right here. So let's see what they hatch into. If there's a few more females in here, I will let them grow up so that I can get even more eggs going. If not, I'm looking for some 227s because that'll be our mutation. If we can get a mutation in melee first, that's what I want to do. Um, oh man, could you imagine if I had the collector over here? I'd have so much shit, literally. Oh my gosh, that'd be so nice. So I will bring you guys back uh, once these guys have kind of made a few babies for me and we get our few first mutation. So I'll see you guys shortly. Alrighty, guys, I am back and I have us a few eggs. And when I say a few, this entire box right here is filled almost. Uh, I'm missing seven, but that is fine. So we're going to take like, I don't know, five of these at a time. And we're going to hatch these little sons of bitches. So there's one and we're just going to toss them all in. Now, the thing is, is we're looking for a 227. Um, I've just been kind of chilling up here for about an hour. Just letting these guys go to town. Um, I did have another female, the one that's all crumpled up in there. This one right here. Yeah, she's fine. Trust me that she agreed to this. She said it was a good idea. Why are your eyes black? Oh, that's creepy. Anyway, um, she agreed to it. She is a willing participant. I, I made sure this was 100% condoned to uh, be okay. This is okay with PETA as well. There's definitely nothing wrong with their current living situation. They have plenty of space. Anyway, over here, we got a few eggs that should be hatching in roughly about a minute. Uh, can't see any other ones. Yeah, about two minutes for that one. So... What can I do in the meantime? Uh, because these guys are not going to grow up very fast. So let's go check out. You know what? You see that yellow that yellow drop right there? We're going to go to it. We're going to go to that yellow drop. We're going to come back. And then we're going to see what kind of T-Rexes we have. I'm hoping for at least a couple mutations. I'm looking at health and... Health and melee, I think, are the only two stats that I want to mutate because they uh they're probably the better one because i don't really think i need stamina i've got 2000 stamina i don't think i need any more than that and i have 830 weight i don't really plan on carrying a whole lot on these creatures i can't even carry that much weight so i think we're gonna be fine this dude is a fuzumin a fuzumin uh what is going on with my shadows you, you, my shadows are just going. All right, and this is a green drop, not a not a yellow drop. Is this a green drop? This is a green drop. What is this? A megalania. There's no megalanias on this. I've already got like twelve of those. I don't need any more of those, and I don't need a scuba tank. That was being useless. Um, is there an actual yellow drop over here? We're gonna go to the actual yellow drop. 
But see, I've got stamina for days, boy. And it, it only took me like a thousand stamina to get to be able to do this. Oh my god. I'm traveling so fast. Like, look at that speed. Thousands. Thousands of meters per minute. Is this another green? So help me fucking god it is. Oh my god it is. Oh my god it is. I don't want any of that crap. Um. Is there anything that's not a yellow drop? Or not a green drop around here? No? Oh. I'm out of sulfur? Why do I have sulfur in my... There you go. Have that back. And away we go. Oh, this burns a lot of sulfur. Oh, no, it's eating. It's eating. Never mind. Um, I do plan on uh, killing the alpha wyvern that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I know where it is. It's over by one of the land bridges that's over there. Um, it just ate all of its food. That's okay. I can go get some more sulfur. I also have a bunch of baby dragons I could kill. Oh, that sounds terrible. Anyway. Um, we're gonna come back over here and see what we have in terms of T-Rexes. Oh, I ran out of stamina. The cool thing is, is these guys, I think, replenish stamina in the air? Or maybe they don't. They do not, but they don't immediately drop. I don't think. Hello. Okay. Oh, they do replenish in the air. You just don't have, you can't use them interesting okay so let's see what we got here um we got a few few guys everybody's hatched yeah everybody's hatched um it looks like we're hovering around 225 which is okay but um no no we're, we're going to uh let me And then we're just going to munch on them all. Nice. So now my Phoenix is going to cook a bunch of meat for me. Um, I'm actually going to take that and I'm going to give it to the one that squashed down. Um, there you go. You can have some meat, ma'am. And now I'm going to drop five more eggs. There we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right. Now let's see here. Um, I don't, that's a green drop, not a yellow drop. And this thing is almost out of food. Hmm. I guess my best bet is just to go home. Um, let me go ahead and I think we'll just go melee and super speed down. Yeah, this thing ain't got no food and the only thing it eats is sulfur. I think I might have some sulfur hidden around somewhere over here. I think maybe the Oasis War has some. Maybe. I'm not sure. Nope. The Oasis War is slumped down into the thing again. Why is my dragon all the way over here? Okay. Well, this is unfortunate. So I need to get some sulfur somehow. Come on. Can we, can we please fly? There we go. All right. Down we go. I really wish I could get into my Oasis Sword. I might go tame another one, to be honest. See if I can get some one with sulfur so that I can have something that kind of like helps my guy here. 
So where, oh where? Let's see, do you have anything useful? No. Do you have anything useful? No, just wood. Do you have anything useful? No. Um. Do I have anything useful anywhere? Not in there. Not in there. Nope. Oh, no. Okay. We're definitely getting somewhere. Definitely getting somewhere. How about you, Bigums? Do you have anything? You have any sulfur for me? No? Cool. Um, how about this Rex over here? Do you have any sulfur for me? You got some rare flowers. I will take those. Um, I don't think anybody has sulfur. That's unfortunate. That's okay though. I will just kind of put the Phoenix away for a little bit until I can grab uh, some more sulfur from dragons or get some sulfur rocks. So what do you have in you? Uh, you know what? I'll just, uh, I'll take all that. That can spoil. I'm not worried about all that. Um, uh, um, uh, Mr. Dragon, where did you go? Hello, Blue. I have not used you in a long time, my friend. I'm going to take my dragon up to here. What do you have in you? I have a lot of fire arrows. I forgot that I made so many and then just ended up not using them. Oh, uh, so much propellant. Why am I so heavy? Is it the 20, 40, 50 pounds worth of these? I'm just gonna... There's that. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that or that. I don't need this. What's on me? Why am I so heavy? Okay, whatever. Up we go. Let's see if there's anything good up here. Um, let's just go melee. I still need to uh, go get some wyvern milk, but I think killing that alpha that I have planned on killing will be able to help me actually get some more dragons, which I am extremely excited about. All right. So this is gonna be the new baby killer. All right, I should not have said that. That sounds terrible. Um, Anything here? Oh, I do see a 227 in there. I do see a 227. 225, 225, 225, 225. Where is the 227? There it is. All right, the rest dies. What? Are you, are you shitting me? Um, hmm. maybe I just come on the other end. Over here. There we go. Where are you running? Where are you running, little child dra dinosaur? Okay. Uh, I do not wish to cause harm to the one that I have. So, which one's mine? Can't tell. I'm good at... You the one? I can't tell which one you are. I'm going to have you follow me. Come on. Come on, Mr. X. No. Oh, there you go. Come on. Oh, God. Okay, problem. 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Please land close. Oh my god. Um. I can. I cannot make that. Oh god. Uh, uh, oh, I, oh god, that scared the hell out of me. I thought I was gonna die. Okay, anyway. Back to our normally scheduled program. Um. Okay, so you're the one that I want, right? So I need to take this. Are you the one? Yes. Get to into the ball. Okay. We'll take a look at that because that is our first mutation. Um, I just... This dude invincible. Um... Please die, sir. Better idea. Can't avoid me forever. I know technology. We are advanced human creatures. Okay. Now, let me put that back where it belongs. And then we'll take a look at our new... Oh, damn it. Put that in the right spot, please. There we go. All right, now let's take a look at this. So, what's the mutation? It is a stamina mutation. Because it's normally 2226. So, that means it got a mutation in stam. Which I'm not happy about. I don't like that at all. Um... So, we'll keep it, but I don't like it. There, there could, there, we need a melee mutation. We need a melee mutation. Um, so now let me grab five more of these and let me come back a little bit so that when I drop these, they don't get stuck inside the thing, right? Yeah. So we're all good here. Um, now we just got to spend a little bit of time away. Let me grab some water while we're doing this. Um, the Fire Wyvern has leveled up 12 levels. I think stamina is a good choice. Um, we could go to Blue Ob. What is weighing me down? I'm going to eat both of those. And then I think we're good, right? What do you have on you that's so damn heavy? Is it all the meat? Oh my god, that's a lot of shmeat. Um Alright. Let's get rid of the meat. Okay. Meat. I forgot that you can't just drop it normally. It's okay. I'll just popcorn it all. There's literally hundreds. There we go. And now, what else do I not need? Don't really need to carry my 25 pound thing or 20 pounds worth of fire arrows or all this meat. I don't really care though. That's fine. Um, let's see here. Actually, while we're at it, I'm curious because I haven't looked at this at all the entire time that we have been playing this game. What does it take to spawn the Gamma Manticore? What does it take for Gamma Manticore? Gamma Manticore. Two Fire Talons, two Lightning Talons, and two Poison Talons. I've got the two fire talents, so I just gotta kill two lightning and two poison. That's pretty easy. And I've also heard that there are some silica pearls around here. I'm not entirely sure where. Oh my god. No, I wanna see all those pretty coals. Oh my god, look at them. They're gorgeous. Beautiful. Green. 
Anyway. So, it is now duly noted that we need to kill a couple of each of the wyverns. That is not going to be difficult. Not with what I have planned. Oh, and I have something very juicy planned. It's going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Where's my creatures at? Where am I at? I'm going the wrong fucking direction. Um... Go back over here to my dragons. Oh no, not the infamous white drop. Whatever shall I do? I don't think I can handle the white drop. That's a purple one over there. All right. I do kind of want to build over in this area too. That'd be kind of cool. Oh my god, I have so many ideas. Okay. Land. Now, let's see if there's a 227 in these. Um. 225, 225. See a lot of 225s. So there is not a mutation in there. So we set you all on fire. Let me get this one. Last piece of barbecue right there. All right. Now let's just try to get the rest of them done. Um, we'll do. Do 10 at a time. I think that's good. We'll try to speed this process up a little bit because I don't want to be doing this all day long. So there we go. They are incubating. And that is fine. So, oh, that's actually a white drop with a ring on it. Hmm. That sounds pretty good. We might grab that. Oh, I love this game. This game is so fun. Now I just need to get my stuff together. Um, so I might grab the bunch of two, two fives build like a couple saddles go get a uteranus and a decent level uh deodon and i'm i might go take on the manticore here in a few episodes i don't know that's that's sounding kind of fun to take on the manticore hmm i might do that because i think my 225 army could probably take them Oh, we are hatching. Okay, so that's a 225. So that that one's definitely not going to... That one's not going to be in rush hour 3. Um, let's see what else pops out. So we got 225, 225. Okay, so nothing crazy yet. Got so many different timers, so we'll kind of be able to see everything. Oh my god, I just did a full 360 on that. Or 180. So we can just... Okay, so... We have knocked down our choices. Let's see, what do we have? Anybody coming up soon, soon? Oh, 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 oh okay. Uh, these two are both 225, so nothing crazy there. Another few more seconds, maybe, on one of them. 14 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Let us see. What do we have? 225s. Bunch more 225s. Okay. Not seeing anything crazy. All I see is a bunch of 225s. I don't see another 227, but let's see. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, that's the rest of them that I haven't already taken care of. So a, a good night. And 
and i've got nine more levels let's just kind of bump this up a little bit to 5k perfect and now let us take care of the last yeah we'll just do the last 13. that's fine we'll knock this out but yeah guys this video is mainly just us starting this process uh there's obviously a long way we need to go i'm probably going to keep this going until we take on the alpha manticore at the end of the series because these are going to be the guys that i take on the manticore with um i think you can also do wyverns i'm not sure i'm willing to try it i will take i will take 20 wyverns to the alpha i won't even be i won't even be on one i will just sit there and watch it happen i think that'll be funny but yeah these are probably going to be super mutated we're going to have some cool colors on them we'll probably have like a black and black and purple or black and white or some cool crazy colors uh for mutations on these things um let's see do we have one that's close to hatching minute 40 minute 13 58 seconds so yeah we got a different varying amount of times um another thing that i'm gonna do so i'm gonna end up having probably the wyverns up here i'm gonna have this section right here for the fire wyverns this section right here for the lightning wyverns and then if there's another section i'll probably do that for poison so i'm not sure though but i do know i'm probably going to build mostly up here for this breeding operation i plan on putting walls up or i might have it all open yeah i might have it all open that might be kind of nice but i'm definitely going to put like something up here because i don't like it just kind of being flat and barren like this i also do plan on building down there so that i can breed the thylas I also want to start breeding. Um, I want to breed a really good Lymantria with like nothing but health mutations just so I can ultimately steal everything that I want. Okay, so this is the first two. Oh, we do have a 227, and I think it is this one right here. Okay, so let me take out that guy. Um, okay, the 227 is a one. Yep let me grab my 227 come on grab the 227 there we go we grabbed the 227 um while those hatch i'll take a look at those in a second um what did we get a mutation in all the stats that i'm looking at are the same so we got a mutation in something else Oh, I see another 227 in there. That's good. So let me see. 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 Um, I should have brought some more things, but let me see if I can grab the 227. Okay. There's another 227 and it's female. So that's not going to be very beneficial. There's another 227 in there um where's it at oh there's so many tails right here there is another 227 somewhere in that mix um let me see i can't too many feet oh god the amalgamation has been created um am i right there is another 227 in there Mm, yes i see it i see it it's right there so let's see let me see if i can try to see which one it is 227 is right around here where the other 227 is there it is okay so i got both the 227 so we can munch across these guys and i guess i don't necessarily need to get into their inventory or it, get them into a cryopod okay calm down phoenix um all right so here's our 227s um there's one of them at least where's the other one? Oh, it's up there okay um let's see so this 227 is another stamina mutation okay not necessarily what i'm looking for 
Um, this one is a weight mutation. So I've gotten a stamp. I've gotten two stamina's and a weight mutation. I don't need either one of these guys. I will keep them, but I do not need them. Um, that is very unfortunate. Uh, let me kind of whistle stop and let me go grab some more cryopods. So this is going to be a very long process. This is going to be a very long time for us to get the perfect one. Uh, once they are done, there will be a video solely on that and we will just run around and murder absolutely everything with that creature. We might even go and try to see if it can take on, oh my God, the Oasisaurus back again. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find one that can take on the, uh, uh, an alpha death worm. If I can find one, cause I haven't found an alpha death worm in a long time. Not since the episode where all the wyverns decided or the death worms decided to run away from me. Another thunderstorm. Really? There was literally just one. Um, yeah. So let me go grab these. Oh, and I perfectly have two more. Nice. All right. So jump on you and we go back home or I guess not back home, but we go back up here. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for these. Uh, this is going to be an ongoing little mission for me. Wait. Oh, we have one more. Oh, we have a last chance. We have one more egg that we could possibly get our melee mutation. This may be the one guys. This could be the one that we need. Um, I have three level ups, so let's go ahead and get that up there. Uh, I am now 166 out of 120, which means I have leveled up 46 times since I have done this. Uh, man, the Phoenix is beautiful. I love it. Um, okay, there's chilling there. That's that's cool. Um, I'm going to keep these guys because I might want their colors later on. but And I might want their things later if i want to do like a max mutated uh t-rex but we'll see how that goes uh i'm not banking on that one uh but we need to figure out what this last egg is this is the final egg and it is going to be ready in two minutes so we have two minutes to wait we have two minutes to do things and figure things out we have two minutes uh let's see here let me dump all the meat. There's a lot of meat. Um, actually, no. I'm going to take all of this meat, but I am going to dump all of that meat. Perfect. So, let me put this stuff back in here. Uh, I am going to be building a trough since people keep yelling at me about not building a trough for my creatures or not feeding my creatures, whatever it was. Look, I get it, but, you know... They should be able to feed themselves. Obviously, they're creatures. They su they've been surviving out here this entire time. But the funny thing is, and this is something that I'm surprised they didn't add into ASA, was uh, animations of them eating like the creatures, like having a T-Rex stomping on the creature that it just killed and like start ripping like meat or something like even if it's small little animations like that that would have been cool um but it is not that way i want this red drop that's why we're heading over here i also want to hope that eventually another what is that and what the hell oh it's a rock it's a is that a drop with a ring on it over there i guess it is um, I swear to God, if this is in the place that I can't grab it, I'm going to be pissed. I will say that right now. Where, oh, where? And what, oh, what? Oh, that is a very beautiful Lymantria. Of course, it's only a level 10. Oh, my God. It's in the fucking spot that I can't get. Is it down? Yeah, it's down. Okay. So, can I... Is there a way that I can get it through the floor? So here's the ring. This is the red. Okay, we're going to go through and see what this was that we could have had. Because this is really annoying that this keeps happening. 
Um, where the hell is the drop? So it's right around. Is it in here? It's close. I, there's not even a drop here, bro. What? Says there is a drop right here. Where? Oh, all the way down. Okay. What's in here? Nothing. <laughs> okay. There is nothing in there. That's really dumb. It's always in this spot too, where they just cannot spawn. Like every time they do, it just doesn't work. Oh my god, that's annoying. Like, as a player, and you seeing a red drop, you're immediately like, okay, it's time to go. Let's go get this red drop. But you can't get it when it's 20 feet in the floor. Um, ooh, I do kind of want to get a new RG. I think we're past the point of RG. That's definitely not going to be it, though. Um, what about this beautiful one over here? Level 35, that's garbage. Level 10s, okay. Any good Carnos over here, maybe? Level 15? No. Titanosaur. That would be fun to tame. I've never tamed a Titanosaur before. I, I think the... I don't even know what the best bet for that would be. Get on top of a... Uh, Oasisaur? Sounds like the best thing to do would be get on top of an Oasisaur. All right, let's go see where or what our final little dude is. Hello, Carno. It's a level 80. Not very good. Um, let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Where? Oh, where? What are you, my good child? How are you going to end off my video? Are you going to make me sad? Or are you going to make me extremely happy? Please make me happy. I would greatly appreciate it. I really need to get my Phoenix back in the cryopod. Okay. Why is that dude just walking away? Oh, it's twins. Okay. Hold on. Da -da 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 -da. Two, two, five. Shit. Well, at least it was twins. Yeah. That sucks. Actually, you know what? I need to see if they're female. If they're female, they can stay. Of course, they're male. Well, that's unfortunate for you. That's going to suck. Yes, run away, baby T-Rexes. Only problem for you is, is I have mastered fire. I am the firebender dragon. You must die. All right. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. This is the beginning of our absolutely insane breeding project that will take us all the way up to the Alpha Manticore fight in... I don't know how many episodes. It's going to be a while. If you guys enjoyed, please go ahead, leave a like, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. And again, thank you guys for coming back to the video. And in the next one, we're going to go see what that other phoenix was that I seen over by Blue Ob. Hopefully, it's something good. If it is, there will be a video. If not, I guess you guys will know what the next video is whenever it's posted. Above all else, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I uh, hope you guys had a good day, a good night, and a very good week. And I'll see you all in the next video.